Welcome SeaWorlds fans to the Get Your Red On Minute. I'm your host, Danny Kleppinger. Stony Brook's weightlifting staff holds an annual Thanksgiving challenge in the weight room for spring sports. The rigorous circuit tests the athletes both physically and mentally, but the athletes seem to look forward to the challenge. It starts in five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to throw up. The annual Thanksgiving challenge last week was the first one ever held in the new Dubin Family Athletic Performance Center. Athletes were challenged to perform as many reps as they could in three minutes for eight different exercises. Over 100 spring athletes competed in the challenge. The athletes started the circuit at bike sprints, moved to pulsing squats, then to deadlift, to box jumps, to push press, to chin ups, to incline push ups, and finally the plate carry. Top finisher for the men was Jeff Tundo of men's lacrosse, and the top finisher for the women was Nicole Scheiferstein of softball. There will be a second challenge in the spring for fall and winter sports. The women's tennis team received their America East Championship rings during halftime of the men's basketball game last Saturday. The team beat second-seeded UMBC last April to win their first ever America East title. The Seawolves were led by sophomore Paulina Mofchan, who was a clutch performer in both the semifinals and finals. Women's basketball plays at Youngstown State tonight and will be back home on Tuesday to play Sacred Heart. Men's basketball plays this Saturday at Princeton Gymnasium against Eastern Illinois. The football team will travel to Montana State for their second round playoff game this Saturday. The game can be viewed on ESPN3. Be sure to tweet to at SB Athletics during the game and let us know you are following along. Stony Brook Athletes assisted the Bethpage Federal Credit Union for its fourth annual Turkey Drive on November 15th. The athletes volunteered for a two-hour shift to wrap and box all the items and load them on trucks to be dispersed across the island. The turkey drive benefited Island Harvest and Hurricane Sandy relief efforts. The Student Athlete Advisory Committee is currently holding a food drive until December 3rd. If you'd like to donate, please bring any perishable items to the sports complex. That's it for today's Get Your Red On Minute. Remember to tune in next Friday. I'm Danny Kleppinger reminding you to get your red on. It's what we do.